it's red. <laughs> it looked like there was no hope. Smudger had attacked the Midsodor manager in revenge for getting turned into a generator decades ago and instantly regretted his actions. I went back to Bertram Station to repair the engines that were caught in the landslide until I realised that we had a bigger monster on our hands. A red engine by the name of Stanley, Smudger's rival back at the Midsodor Railway has come back for revenge for being turned into a pumping engine for causing a load of accidents. He seems to have similar supernatural powers to Smudger. He has possessed all the engines Smudger once had control of and has also kidnapped Duke. I knew things could not end like this. I knew Smudger and Duke could make amends and Smudger could be redeemed. But to do this, we had to save all the engines. I had to get Smudger back. I caught him trying to kill himself because he was in so much pain. But I managed to talk him out of it. After that, I signed up to be a night guard at a railway called Gerald's hometown, which is near Stanley's hideout. Doing this, I can keep the engines at bay while me and Smudger can save them one by one when the time is right. I know we can do this, although it's going to be very difficult. We have only one chance to put things right again. Okay. Well... What's up, Salmon Squad? I am the Game Salmon, and welcome to the highly requested Five Nights at Smudgers 4 Engines at War. We have been waiting on Five Nights at Smudgers 4 for years. I mean, I can't even remember when I played Five Nights at Smudgers 3. Was that like three years ago? Maybe two? This game came out two weeks ago, and I'm sorry I'm late to playing it. I've just been on vacation, but we're here. We're ready. Time for some trains. If you're excited that I'm finally playing Five Nights at Smudgers 4, please be sure to like the video, subscribe, go follow me on Twitch, and leave a comment down below. You have caused confusion and delay. The Island of Sodor. Oh, I get it. That's my key for this map. And as I complete missions or nights or bosses, more things unlock on the island. So we only have first shift available. And on we go. Welcome, speedsters! That looks like Thomas. No, but the name's Gerald, apparently. Okay, whatever. I don't know, oh my god! Are you good or bad? What is happening? Oh, is this a cutscene? Jesus, okay. Hello? Hello? Hello, sir, are you there? Yeah, yes. Oh yeah, yeah, sorry, I'm here. What's up? Oh. A lot. Got a ton of stuff to do for this railway. How are you? Are you settling in well on your first night? Oh, I'm alright. Just a bit alert, that's all. How so? Well, you know, weird stuff happens on these kind of jobs. You never know what you might encounter. Oh, don't be silly. The only things you'll see or even hear are just birds, wind, and of course the radio. I can hear it. Yeah, well, unfortunately, I only have access to one radio station because of the signal. It ends at midnight. It's playing its last song now. That's a shame. They plan to build something around here that to fix that for you, so you'll be listening to the tunes all night and all sorts of news and conversations. Nice. Can't wait. So let's move on to what you have at your new place, shall we? For starters, this is your office. To do whatever you want, of course, that's not illegal or whatnot. Then there's the CCTV system. You probably know how it works due to all the railways you've built. Just pull it up and look around the place with the cameras. There's also a TV behind you to look at what might be behind you if you're making a cup of tea or coffee or so. And of course, the window to look out the back. So for right now, that's pretty much it. There's something on your left we haven't installed yet, but I'll tell you about that when it's done at a later time. Okay, sure. Thanks, man. Now you look after yourself, gotta do some more work, and we'll probably be awake as long as you are, so I'll speak with you later, good enough. Oh wait, one, one more thing, uh, the kids that visit here tend to leave their toys around the area, so keep a close eye out for them. For toys? If you didn't find any, just collect it for lost property in case they come back. Alright, oh. that's it, Good night. Alright mate, see you soon. That's so that. there is nothing to defend myself with. Wow. Good job I bought this thing. What do you mean this thing? Are you talking about the- oh my god. Control to fire? What is that? It says air sentry, but... And that's all from us tonight. You've been listening to the Mainland FM radio station. Let's finish the night off with a joke, shall we? 
So I walked past the park today, and there was a young woman and her baby chicken who was stuck in a tree. A man standing there asked me if I could climb up there and save them. He told me to be careful, though, because it's a tall tree and I might hurt myself if I fall. So I replied with, Oh, I don't think so. I'm afraid the chicks are too high. Tune in tomorrow for another spectacular show. Okay. Um, is that it? Has, has the night, like, officially started? Oh, the answer is yes, because it's already 2 a.m., apparently. I have not had a good look around yet, which... Oh, now I can actually see some stuff. Um, these are interesting trains, or engines. What's the difference between an engine and a train? By the way, it sounds like there is some really detailed story going on in the game. Um, all of it is going to go over my head, so don't expect me to understand what's going on at all, and I, I, I don't know trains, I'm sorry. Alert. Unauthorized. Personnel in. Sector. Yellow. Sector Yellow? Is that Cam D? No. Sector Yellow. Where's Sector Yellow? Where's Sector Yellow? That's a, that's a yellow train that I can't read its name! Am I in trouble? Control. Bash R to recharge. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, all right. That's a nice little tutorial. Alert. Unauthorized. Personnel in. Sector Brown. Am I in trouble? Sector, where's Sector Brown? Office West, Office North, Scrapyard. Oh, I don't like this. I don't know what's happening. It's 4 a.m. Courtyard. Where are the sectors? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, I see. So, if the door is open, control to fire. That's easy. Hello. Uh-oh. Oh, oh. Okay, so you have to be right in front of me for me to use my whatever this is. My air sentry. Does it shoot? Air? Ah! Ah! Hi, can you not? What? My game crashed! Did I do something wrong? One thing apparently that I missed, I can press space and that'll allow me to look behind me. I even have a little TV monitor that'll let me know if someone's actually trying to get me from the uh, front end. Oh, what? Personnel. Yeah, I don't care about unauthorized personnel. I got an air sentry that I shoot air at trains and that works. No, no you don't. No, you don't. See, that's the strategy right there. Boom. <laughs> what was the rooster sound? It's 5 a.m. Does the night end at six? I think it should. Not not that I know. I mean, the game could throw me a curveball and we go to 9 a.m. Nope, 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 no, no. Okay, so to deal with the phantom train, I just pull up my monitor. All right, easy enough. Oh, congratulations, you are safe for now. Oh, back to the title screen. Okay, let's go back to the map. Aha, we have a mission to deal with. The Wanted Lori. Tim has tracked down his first target, Lori One, which has been possessed by Stanley. He must unpossess him by chasing him down and give him a bump. Ooh. Oi, you, you are way over the speed limit. Stop, we'll be tasered. You're, you're gonna tase a truck? I'm not, oh my God. Oh, 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 oh my God. This isn't going well. This isn't going well at all. Everything is awful. Oh, got him, got him, got the policeman. What, oh my God, I gotta bump him, right? Who? Oh, is that it? Mission complete. Okay, I'll take it. Uh-oh, difficulty spike. I don't like the look of that. Is it gonna show me like what other animatronics I'm dealing with, I guess? Like SC Ruffy and Moe. I love the names for these engines. I don't get it. I hope Smudge is all right. I did give him that voice activated headset that engines can use to, you know, call people's phones. Then again, can he just use his powers he gained from the afterlife to call me? Well, speak of the devil, I guess. Hi, Smudger. Ah, uh, I was worried about you, mate. 
How's everything going? Yep, all good at the moment. I've seen where every engine is and where they're going. And I'm going to start rescuing them soon. Just got to see what else Danny is up to right now. Right, but more importantly, did you see any other engine or whatever heading towards my location? Yeah, it's scruffy. They all come back eventually, don't they? Anyway, I should let you know that different engines that are possessed, the instincts vary. For example, Scruffy, he's a coal truck, and he's a bit of a psycho. He isn't going to do what Proteus and Bertram do. For example, they try to sneak attack you, where Scruffy's going to try and rush in and do as much damage as possible. So, the way to avoid this is just to avoid eye contact. You said your office is kind of dark, so you won't be able to see you straight away if you look behind you. So if you do look behind you, he'll leave. Simple. I'm sure you can handle it, right? Yeah, oh, of course I can. No problem. Yeah, of course, and thank you for making me choose the right path. I am forever grateful. I'm back now, and I ain't going nowhere. I'll see you soon. Alright then, take it easy now. When did Smudger become a good guy? Did I miss something? I am really bad at following the story of Five Nights at Smudger. I, I should have gone back and reviewed the story from 1, 2, and 3. <gasps> oh my god! Oh, but don't worry, Smudger used his powers to protect your body and keep you alive, so get up and go avenge yourself. Ugh. Oh my god. Oh my god! Alright, well, what do we do about Moe? Moe is only seen in his jump scare. Okay, that doesn't tell me how to beat him. The laser sensor will be white if no one is inside the car park. If it's any other color, you must go to the console on the left and close the door on them. What? The console on the left. Oh my god. That's probably how Moe is killing me, I see. Okay, so maybe if I click the laser sensor, and if it's any other color other than white, I have to go over here and close one of these doors. <gasps> green, 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 green! Green is closed. Take that. Do I have to check now? Okay, now they're gone. Doors open. Beautiful, okay. That's probably how I deal with Moe. I am worried about Scruffy showing up because I'm pretty sure that if I use the air sentry on Scruffy, I'll probably get jump scared and lose. That's not Scruffy though. Come on, attack. And there you go. Oh, blue. Nope, 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 nope. Blue, doors open. Nope, nope, okay. Easy now, everyone. Okay, everyone wants to attack all at once. Open that back up. Okay, all right. Night two, there is definitely a difficulty spike. That's the name of the level, that's... What was that laughing? Whoa, 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 oh, that's, that's the Scruffy! And that's how I deal with Scruffy, got it. That's red. <laughs> I gotta be fast, man. I was focused in there, man. Congratulations, you are safe for now. Again. Okay, another mission. This one is Big Rigs Battle. Ten mines have been planted in Tim's neighborhood by Lori 2. He must find and deactivate them all before the time runs out and unpossess him. Avoid the other cars. Press M here to view the map. Okay, so find all of the mines. And apparently there's a little mini boss battle. Okay, here we go. Uh, oh my, oh my god. Oh, 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 I am bad at this. Oh, I am really bad at this. Okay, all right. Oh, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Kind of. Mugger. What? Got him. Hi, can the other cars like slow down or something? Cause this isn't going well. I lost, that's okay. Redo. Nope, I don't care, I don't care, got him. Why is that considered a mini boss battle? Last one, last one, got it. I, I win, right? That's the mission. Oh, oh, you wanna get your lorry back? Well, you ain't getting it. Okay, Greg. Oh, oh, got him. Oh, is that all I have to do? Oh my God, oh my God. Okay, hit him and avoid wheels, easy. Boom, all right. 
Greg, are you a double-decker bus? Is the island of Sodor near England? This is it, this is it, this is it. Boom! Take that, ooh. And I saved the lorry. Woo, mission complete. I think that is a good place to stop. The next time that we play this game, uh, we'll be jumping into halfway there, which I don't know if that means I'm halfway through the game or just halfway through these nights. Th there's still like plenty of room in the island of Sodor, so I don't know how detailed or how long this game is, but I'm sure we will find out eventually. Thank you all so much for watching. Please be sure to click on the end cards at the end of this video if you want to watch more videos just like this one. Also, be sure to like and subscribe if you have not already done so. I love you all. Go out there and make someone's day. Be happy, stay happy. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.